Hey yo, what's up? It's Joe back with a really, really cool, cool video, right? So this is the app that I built. Um, it's just a trivia game app. I um, I really like it a lot. I like. I almost want to cry. All right, let me stop. But serious note, like I'm really feeling this app. Like it's just, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Cause I, okay, so I did this. So, all right, all right. Calm down, Joe. Okay, try this again. All right. So the reason why I built this app is I wanted to learn how to use WebSockets. Okay. So what are WebSockets? So WebSockets are. Let's just go to the definition. You know, I'm really. If you watch any of my videos, you know I'm really big on definitions, right? What does it say? What is the definition? So I feel like the definition can explain it better than I can. Why should you use WebSockets? By transmitting data in both directions, do 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 simultaneously through a single connection instead of two. You get to reduce unnecessary network traffic and delay. I like that, right? Okay. Stream through proxies and firewalls supporting simultaneous, simultaneously. Got it. Two-way upstream and downstream communication. Whatever that meant, right? I'm still stuck on the bidirectional. Send messages to and from a server and receive event-driven responses without having to pull the server for a reply. Okay. So what what does that mean, right? So normally when you like on the site, say, say for instance, you go to CNN, right? Cause I just feel like watching the news and then I go here and I'm like, okay, well now I want to go, I want to click this. This is click this link. It's going to take me somewhere else. Right? So as you can see, like everything that I'm doing, let me close this cause I really don't like talking politics. I don't want to get into that, but it just popped up. So, all right. So. What happens is when you're going on the site and you're hitting like buttons and you're kind of telling um, the site, okay, I want to do this. I want to do that. So what WebSockets does when it comes into the whole bi-directional communication, I don't know why I'm doing that, but it probably sounds really stupid <laughs> like when you're watching the video, but it was funny in my head. Yeah. Um, but with the whole bi-directional communication, it's almost like I can do something and then have that sent to that client and then that client can react on that event so it's kind of really cool right so when i start thinking about that i was like okay i need to do this right so i was here and i was like okay so how am i going to do this how am i going to create an app or create a game and then use what sockets will make it a trivia game right so oh by the way all of this code is on github and if you're liking the code and you're loving the code let me stop. But if you're filling the code, like, you know, go ahead and take it, use it. Um, I really don't mind. I would actually be probably happy if you use it because I'm like, okay, somebody's using my code. Must be okay. Um, so, yeah, I, I do a lot of corny jokes. You'll get used to that. But with that being said, it's just like, it's just so cool to use like WebSockets. And it's for me because it's like my first really, like, I wouldn't say a big project because it's not really that big of a project, but my first real project doing using WebSockets and being able to use a whole bi-directional communication. So like now, say for instance, I'm here, right? Yeah, I'm here. And I want to create a game calling myself Joe. Why am I talking in this weird voice? I have no idea. It literally just came to my head and then I start doing it. Cheers. All right. So... Yeah, so I'm here, right? And I put in my name, Joe, and I said, I want to join a game. Well, I'm not going to join a game. I'm going to create a game, okay? So I just created a game. And there are some things I need to add into this, right? Because say, for instance, you're in this game. Right now, I don't have a way to um, cancel the game or leave the game or, you know, something like that. Um, it keeps trying to keep you into the game because when you're using local storage, so I'm storing like your game ID and your client ID. So even if you refresh, like... You're still right back to where you started because I just pulled that stuff back down. But sometimes you may not want to be back here. You may want to just actually leave out of here. So I, that is something I need to add in. So I get it. It's not perfect. But I just want to kind of show you. <clears throat> Why my voice sound weird? 
One second. I am definitely drinking beer with ice. I didn't have one cold. I know, right? Weird ass. Um. So yeah, so I don't have a way to really exit out the game right now. If you're already in the game, you just got to play the game. So I'm, I am going to add that in. And if I haven't said it, yeah, I'm pretty sure I said it. These drinks are really good to me. But yeah, it's on GitHub, right? So same thing is I want to start this game. But before I start this game, I want to send my ID of the game to somebody else to let them join into the game. So when I first built this, right, don't know what I was thinking. I literally had it where you had to sit here and like drag and drop or like sit here and like try to copy the game ID. And I was like, it has to be a better way than sitting here um, copying this game ID. Like it just has to. Um, I don't even remember what they're, yeah, ready to copy. I think it was ready to copy. I feel, feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe this is the one. I think so. Let me just check. So I'm not like telling you guys, hey, it's ready for call. you look at the code, I'm like, that's not what it was. So let's see here. Clipboard copy. I knew that documentation looked different. Um, but maybe ready to copy is good too. Okay. Right. So I, I've done a lot of research. Okay. Um, what is the name of the clipboard? Board. There we go. Why well, can't I spell today? Um, so yeah, so I end up coming here. I don't know demon like blah, blah 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 blah. I don't even know how I even found found find one second. So I don't even know how like even found this still don't sound right. I don't even know how I find there we go. I don't even know how I find these. Um, I'm not even sure it's right. I'm gonna go with. It. I don't even know how I find these sites. Sometimes I just be like Google and stuff, and I be like, I need to find something to make this, you know, a little bit easier. Because I've got past that whole stage of just trying to code everything myself. Like now, I'm trying to like use a lot of like you know packages that I can use to help me out. Though I probably could have wrote this myself, but I didn't want to. I didn't feel like doing it and I'm tired of writing all this code. So I use um, this and it allowed me to have this. So this whole copy the game ID. And I will put all these links into my GitHub. So at least these people that spent their time programming all this stuff can, you know, you know, get a shout out. Cause I appreciate it. You definitely saved me some time. Okay. So if you copy the game ID, which I've done like a million times already, and I paste it here, that's the game ID. So say for instance, this name is gonna be Jane. Now for, keep in mind we're on, you can't see what I'm, I don't know why I felt like I was about to point to the picture, but you can't see, it's, it's weird. When I'm looking at it, then from when you're looking at it, but forget it, all right? So say I have that ID and I put in Jane, okay? So I join this game. As you can see, this got updated and this is updated. So both people are in player one. Let's join Jane. And then depending on the user, so if you are this guy, if you are Joe, what's up, Joe? Um, if you're him, then and you're on your phone or tablet or computer or whatever you're using, then you're going to have this to represent that you're that person. And if you are Jane on her phone or tablet or computer or something, then you're gonna have this to represent who you are, right? And currently both people are in first place because they're there, because they are tied, okay? So I'm not gonna keep adding people to the game, but um, I think at the moment you can add unlimited people, but I probably should set a limit on that because I don't know if it'll break if you try to add like 20 people because I haven't actually tested it. I know, I should be testing my code. I'm gonna do that eventually. Um, okay, so you start the game, right? So you start the game, and what was the name of the German offensive operation in October 1941 to take Moscow before winter? I have no idea. Like seriously, I'm just guessing right now. I really don't know. Um, so yeah, so you got that score, right? So what I need to do also add is, all right, so, Everybody in the game is already answered. 
So why am I still sitting here? Why am I still waiting? Like, clearly, okay, okay, okay. Clearly that really bothered me that I even pulled out my earphones. But yeah, so why why are you still waiting after you already answered the question? So that need to be something I need to add in so that have an event so it says okay all people in the game has answered the question now i can move on to the next because there's no reason to still wait like you already answered like give me my answer give me my points or you lose your points right uh so i'm gonna make a fix for that then let's talk about this score so i like to play a lot of games right i love to play space i'm very good at tic-tac-toe um I don't really feel like anybody could beat me in the world. I said it. Um, but seriously, like, I'm really good at, like, I love games. Oh, and I love Rocket League. One of my favorite games. So I, I do game a little bit. Whatever. Um, but also, I'm competitive, so I worry about the score. I don't want to, like, have you guys, like, you know, trying to cheat. Right? So what I did... If you do not answer the question, because you don't feel like answering the question because you think you're going to get it wrong, you're still going to lose points. You're actually going to lose two points because you're trying to cheat and you didn't answer the question. Okay? If you answer the question because you're brave enough, but you still get it wrong, you're going to lose a point. Right? So if you get it wrong, you're losing points regardless. Right. So you might as well just answer the question and hopefully you get it right. Okay? So... Say, for instance, you answer the question and you get it right, which I didn't because I don't know the answer. But if you did get it right, you will get a point, right? Because you would get a point for getting the question right. Okay. So there's also bonus points. So the way bonus points works is if you were to. Beer and um, ice is actually not that bad. I don't know if I just started something. But now I'm done. And I need another one. Uh, all right. So, yeah. So, you get bonus points. I really need to work on being so sidetracked because I do that a lot. But you get bonus points, right? So, say, for instance, you answer a question and you're the first person to answer that question right. So you're like the guy or the girl or whoever, but you're that one who answered the question right first. You're Neo from the Matrix. You're the one. Corny is hell. Why did I say that? But whatever. Um, you're going to get bonus points. So the way the bonus points works is for every person in the game. So if there's five people in the game and then you subtract one for yourself, then you're going to get four bonus points. Okay. So that's pretty much how the game works. And there's still some stuff I need to add in. And I use material UI to do all of these cool like things like this with the slider, which I think I already have up right here. So this is material. Blah, 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 blah. This is material UI, um, which is pretty cool. Um, what am I doing? I was completely lost. Um, Excuse me, this is all material UI. I do need to update the the answers. Just put something here. And I also need to save this. Because if you already entered your name, why are you entering it again, right? Psh, makes no sense. I know. Um, and I also need to store some of this into like a database. Because right now everything is just local to the server and it keeps track that way. So it's not the best performance, but you know, it is what it is. Okay. So all this is material UI, but this isn't. So this here, I just use some style components and I just wrote like this whole CSS. So also I know there's an issue here that you will probably see that maybe you won't see at the moment, but um, where um, it will end up, the text will end up falling out of this container. So it looks weird, but there's something else I gotta work on with the CSS. I'm, again, I'm not the best CSS person, not the best CSS person, but I do love to code, and so you know, and I'm one person, I can't do it all. Well, I can do it all, but it's gonna take me a while, right? So, I have some things I need to fix. That's my whole point. Like, there are some things that need to be fixed with this, 
but um yeah so you have the web sockets and what is this oh so this is my github I'm like what is this i wrote it and i don't even know what it is come on joe wake up all right so let's just show you my github why is it telling me to sign what what are you talking about why are you not taking me oh. there we go hey i know that guy let me see if i made that same face I don't, <laughs> i'm silly yo um it's not working but whatever um I be losing my train of thought sometimes because I be doing some really, really off the wall stuff. Uh, all right, so this is my documentation. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, okay? So now that I'm back, all right? So this is the GitHub stuff. I'm gonna post it and I'm also gonna put in the, um, I probably should add it in here too, right? Like all of the links to the different sites, like all this. That's my dog shaking, so you're gonna hear a lot of bells. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I probably should add all the links and stuff in here. Um, and I also plan on adding them to this YouTube video. All right. So this is my first time using WebSockets in a personal project, and there may be core cool decisions I made that may not be the best. Okay. So what does that mean? Like it may not be the best. Like I'm not a, a master at WebSockets. So I may have made some very bad decisions and I may have made some very good decisions. But what I'm saying is don't take my decisions as the end of decisions, because maybe that decision wasn't the best decision. I should have recorded that. Well, I mean, like recorded that separately because I actually like the way that came out. All right, whatever. Um, so the game rules, I went over this. You get a point for each correct question. You get bonus if you're the first to answer the question correctly. Um, you lose a point if you answer incorrectly and you lose two points if you're trying to be shady and don't answer at all. You're still going to lose some points, period. Um, I can't believe I just said that in this video. Uh, so why did I build this? Okay. So this is all in my GitHub and I'm not going to read this verbatim. But basically, I built this because I wanted to learn how to use WebSockets. I wanted to create something where I can use WebSockets because I also have a app, a phone app that I'm working on that I've been working on for like over a year. And I should, really should be done with it by now. But I keep getting sidetracked. And I now I feel like doing the WebSockets is going to like get me back like into it because I'm really loving the whole WebSocket. Like this to me is like, if this is cool, this is here. You see how that is? Okay. All right. So, yeah, and I have like, I didn't really create the documentation for the client side, but I did create the documentation for the server side. So I have all of this stuff and I'm not going to go through and read it, but it's all online. Use it if you want. Um, and yeah, it just goes through everything. So it's just a lot of things also that I want to add to this. Like I really thought this was going to be, I'm really out of drink. I really thought this was going to be like a three day um, coding project. I don't know what I want to call it. I really thought it was going to be like three days. Okay. Well, that three days turned into two weeks. And um, this is where I'm at. Okay. So I'm still going to add some more stuff. And if you want to use it, use it. If you don't, you don't. Um, and if you have some recommendations or if you even have something that you think would be cool to add, keep in mind it is a work in progress. I keep stressing that because I just don't want people to be like, hey, this doesn't do this. And why did this do this? It's still not there yet. But I just wanted to put it out to the world to see. OK, so there's still a lot of things I need to add in. But with that being said, you know, if you're liking these videos, this is a different video than my norm. I will, you know, still be releasing more videos on a more like you know consistent basis i know it took off like two weeks and i do apologize but i got so consumed with this but my videos will go back to like being like you know like um doing a tutorial and you know just writing the code and let you guys see you know kind of like how i'm building it so 
But with this, I just got so caught up into it and I just like, I wrote so much stuff and there's just no way that I can explain to somebody in one video or even a couple of videos of how I came up with all this code. So I said the best way I would just, you know, mention it, like what I'm doing right now, and then put the code out there and let you guys get it. And then as I start making updates, I will start actually recording those and then let you see in my thought process to maybe get an update. My, maybe my thought process to add like a um, end game or exit game or something like that. And then you can see that I write that code and then you can kind of see how I build onto it because I will be building onto this. And um, yeah, with that being said, if you're liking these videos, please go ahead and subscribe because I will appreciate it. And do not forget to hit that bell to get those notifications. And I hope you guys are being safe during this, you know, crazy time that we're in. And with that being said, peace out.